What is going on everybody? In this video I want to talk about a route that Problem was absolutely killing Skimbo with in the Madden 17 Championship Tournament Grand Finals and that he went away from on that final drive. He ran it one time, it got him a clutch first down, but then when he came to another third down situation he went away from it which really surprised me since Skimbo hadn't stopped it all game long. So I wonder what would have happened if he had gone back to it. But getting right into it, right here on defense, you're going to see Skimbo in a dollar look. He was basically in dollar the entire game until that last possession whenever, you know, he had already taken the lead and problem was down four, had to score a touchdown in about 40 seconds. Skimbo went to that slant zone two, which I did do a video on. But throughout this video, you're going to see Skimbo in dollar literally every single time. And uh, it, it might look kind of weird right now that this dollar look, but it is dollar since this is the strong safety Mike Evans that Skimbo brought into the box. So it kind of looks like a 3-3-5, but it is a dollar look for Skimbo. Now on offense, you're going to see a gun tight offset tight end look uh, for a problem. And what he's going to be running is it's called Saints in out of this gun tight offset tight end formation. And the route combo you're going to see is he puts Julio Jones on a flat route outside. He streaks Chad Johnson. You're going to have Randy Moss on a zig route going to the outside. And then this man right here, Demetrius Harris, is tight end, is on a bended post route over the middle. And then uh, the money route that you want to look for on this play is CJ Procise on a speed in route out of the backfield. So it's going to cut super quickly. And basically the design of this play from what I can see is Problem uses Julio Jones right here on this flat route to pull out any flat zone defenders towards the sideline. Chad Johnson pulls any defenders, you know, vertical hook defenders, deep zone defenders, whoever it may be vertically down the field and then ProSize cuts in underneath uh, basically using both of those routes as clear out routes to get ProSize open. So you're going to see it work right here against Skimbo. We're going to go ahead and look at it as it develops right here. So you kind of get a look at the, the routes right there from problem exactly how I had uh, kind of drawn it out. And so post snap you're going to see Skimbo runs this basically same exact setup. He's not very creative with his setups on defense. He basically runs this same DB Fire 2 press setup almost every single play. He, he blitzes both the corners, your two defensive ends, and then he drops his DT into a spy. And then you see the very the, the base coverage on the back end where you have two soft squats on the outside here with your two corners. You have two deep zones out here with your two safeties. And then you have a vertical hook on the left side and Skimbo users the other vertical hook on the right. So he rushes for drops seven every single play if you count the spy as kind of a guy in coverage, which it's a defensive tackle, so he's not doing too much in coverage, but it's mainly for if uh, the quarterback ends up scrambling, Skimbo can send the spy and put a time clock on the QB, which is uh, mainly what it's used for. Uh, but what you're going to see here is basically this route combo from problem does exactly what it's designed to do and clears out a ton of space for um, this CJ Procise route, you see the flat zone by or the flat route rather by Julio pulling out the flat zone defender. You see Chad Johnson on that streak route, you know, pulling that vertical hook, pulling the deep safety deep. This defensive tackle really is the only one in the general area to stop Procise, and he has zero shot at stopping a running back like Procise, who's pretty quick, runs good routes, as well as the fact it's just a very quick developing route. A defensive tackle has no shot at you know keeping up with this speed in route that Procise is about to run right here. So you're going to see it as uh, the camera rolls, and you see problem problem actually throws the ball before you know Procise even clears the defensive tackle because he knows how quickly that route's going to develop right there. Procise falls forward, ends up picking up picking up about 13 yards. So that was the first time problem showed this play uh, throughout this game. Now if you skip ahead here to about 14:46, you're going to see problem goes back to it right here this time third quarter two a little over two minutes left down 10 6 second and 10 and you see the same dollar set up on defense from skimbo snap the ball let's pause it once again same point you see the same exact defense from skimbo you still see the two blitzing corners you still see the defensive tackle and a spy you still see soft squad on the outside on both sides you see a vertical hook right here behind behind chad johnson skimbo using the right side linebacker two deep zones from the safeties, literally this identical setup on defense from Skimbo, which is what he runs almost every time. You're going to see the same thing happen. Problem waits, and this time, instead of hitting Procise, who was wide open right here on this route, 
uh, after he clears the defensive tackle problem really could have had his pick pick of the litter right here he actually had precise he had the zig route because skimbo's user right here realized oh wait uh chad johnson's about to be back wide open in the back of the end zone but he was way too late to do anything but as you can see chad johnson actually gets behind the vertical hook and uh, inside of that deep safety and problem hits him with an inside pass led high point and he ends up scoring a touchdown so that's the second time he brought out that play and as you could see he had three routes that were essentially wide open on it that he could pick whichever one he wanted to go to he went to the one that would result in touchdown which is obviously the smart choice so right here second and eight three minutes left in the game up three so basically a few first downs and he ices this game and you're going to see the same exact setup on defense from skimbo here snap of the ball and you're going to see the same route combos on offense from problem snap of the ball you see it once again right here both corners blitzing you know, defensive tackle and a spy, same coverage shell on the back end right here. Cloud flats on the outside, vertical hook, deep zone, user, deep zone. Same exact setup on defense from Skimbo, same exact route combo on offense from Problem. And you're going to see the same thing. I mean, Problem really, or Problem really had whichever one he wanted. Uh, it might have been kind of sketchy to try and throw an inside pass lead right here because of the fact Skimbo's user is in a position where if Skimbo were to react to it, he could potentially, you know, try and undercut that route by cutting right there. So problem definitely went with the safer throw, but there was no problem with it because it was still going to result in the first down. But as you can see, he's already throwing the ball. He's His quarterback's already got his arm back. He's about to release it, and his running back is still behind this defensive tackle because he knows the timing of the route. He knows that that defensive tackle has no shot at keeping up with that running back. He lets it fly. Procise gets a nice wrap catch, breaks a couple tackles, falls forward, ends up getting 16 yards. So, I mean, you see three different times Problem ran that play. And three different times, Skimbo in the same exact defensive setup, every single time Problem had multiple routes open. So right here, third and 10, this is where I would have liked to see Problem go back to it. A minute 35 left, clock ticking, Skimbo still three timeouts, but you get a first down here and you essentially force Skimbo into calling all his timeouts. And even if Skimbo gets the ball back, you know, uh, either there's very, very little time left or potentially if your problem, you could get into field goal range and take a six point lead and make Skimbo have to march, you know, 80, 75 yards to score a touchdown and, and win $100,000, put a lot of pressure on Skimbo. But right here, third and 10, you see gun wing trio weak. So it was surprising to me that he came out in this formation rather than the gun tight offset tight end. You see snap of the ball. Skimbo actually gets stuck on his defensive tackle this time, which actually would have been even better uh, for a problem. But you see the same exact setup on defense from Skimbo. Both corners blitzing, three defensive linemen blitzing, or, or rather Skimbo's defensive tackle, he got stuck on him. So that's the only reason he was blitzing. Usually that would be a spy. But you see the same coverage on the, on the back end. Soft squats on the outside, vertical hooks on the inside, deep zones on the deep parts of the field deep halves of the field cover two shell so typically what you would see is skimbo would be using this guy this guy would right here would be in a spy but since skimbo got caught on him he kind of engaged the blocker then tried to disengage and get back and user um even that i mean that would have been fine for problem because that defensive tackle even if skimbo knew what route was coming out of the backfield from precise if problem had run uh that saints in play that defensive tackle has zero shot at keeping up with that precise route. So I still think it would have been wide open. Even if it wasn't, he still would have had Chad Johnson on that inside streak, which he showed on the touchdown, would have been wide open. It gets behind that vertical hook. He could go with an inside pass lead over the middle of the field, squeeze it inside of that safety. So I think he would have had definitely wide open options on that play had he called it. But right here, what you're going to see, he goes with the route combo on the right side, kind of a flood he goes with a zig or a streak to pull the defense deep, and then he goes with a zig route to occupy the flat, and then he's got a C route filling in behind it. Uh, this squ soft squat out here is going to drop back and defend against that C route, so problem went with the zig route underneath. He kind of pass led it up and tried to rat catch it. I think if he hadn't done that, um, he, he could have possession caught it, but obviously wouldn't have got the first down, so he went for the rat catch to try and maybe you know get up field, fall forward, break a tackle, get the first down, but... Uh, Randy Moss ends up dropping the ball anyway, and uh, problem is forced to punt on fourth and ten. And if you guys watch the games, you guys know how this game ended up uh, ending with Skimbo taking the lead and holding on to it to win 24 to 20. So 
I just wonder what could have happened had Problem run that play in this situation, in this third down situation with Skimbo showing literally the same exact look on defense every single time. I think it would have resulted uh, in a nice positive gain for him. But uh, who knows? We could play hypotheticals all day. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just thought it was an interesting uh, topic to kind of have a discussion on. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what I can do better for future videos. And until next time, guys, take it easy. Thank you.